Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over how to use cameras in a rig. A camera rig is made of mainly objects and connectors, specifically a bolt. For things like games, the rig is usually used for either aiming in the third person or a complete setup for first person. Cameras are obviously also used in cutscenes or short films, films, etc. In my previous tutorial on cameras and cutscenes, I talked about using the transitions properly as well as animating the position of the camera with keyframes. Unfortunately, due to either a change from beta to early access or a patch, cameras that are keyframed and focus on moving objects cause a noticeable stutter effect. The one way to fix this is with a camera rig. A camera rig is very easy to make and highly customizable. First, you want to figure out how your camera is going to move, as well as how many directions it may need to rotate. Once you figure this out, you're going to want to construct the rig itself. All you will need is a cube and connectors. Using bolts, you can create one direction of rotation. For example, the most common rig you will most commonly see in the Dreamiverse usually has a connector from the bottom cube to the top cube and it's usually on the right or left side. This creates a rotation on the x-axis otherwise looking up and down. If you want the camera to rotate left and right you put the bolt between the two cubes on top of the bottom cube and the, on the bottom of the top cube facing upward. This creates a rotation on the y-axis and lastly, if you want the camera to spin on spot, you connect a bolt from the bottom cube to the front or back of the top cube. This creates a rotation on the z-axis. It is possible to rig the camera in multiple axes, but this usually isn't required for an FPS or third-person shooter rig. You can achieve this by placing two cubes on top of each other and rigging them up properly. Usually for camera rigs, for cutscenes, you only need one cube, but there are many cases where you could be creative and make a rig for a movie camera. For example, a spinning matrix style shot would require you to usually keyframe 360 degrees around the subject. However, you could set up a rig to do this, and it would appear much smoother than if you were doing it by hand. First, you would have two cubes because you were rotating around something. Second, you want to spin around something so it would be rotation on the y-axis. Go ahead and connect the two cubes with the same method we discussed earlier. Next, place a microchip on the top cube. In the microchip, you'll need four things. A camera, two switches, and a rotator. Go ahead and position the camera so it contains the shot you want. You can also rotate the rig to see how it looks at different angles. Then go ahead and play with the speed of the rotator, but make sure the dampening is high so it will stop when you want it. With the speed setup, connect the switches to the camera and the other switch to the rotator's speed input. This way we can cut to the camera, then rotate the rig with the rotator, then pause, then cut away. As you can see, this shot looks very nice, however it is a bit complicated compared to how most shots would go. Most cases, you would probably just need a camera to follow your subject, however, if you have seen my intro recently in Dreams or Serial, you'll notice a huge stutter. This is because I directly keyframed the cameras themselves and didn't make a rig for them. This used to work, but cameras actually stutter now if you animate them. So to counter this, you want to use a simple camera rig which is just one cube, a switch, and a camera. I highly recommend using this in place of animating the camera directly. Normal panning shots with the camera will work if animated directly, but if there is anything moving within the shot, it will stutter. I also recommend making these cameras in place of the Dreams camera system altogether as the transitions on camera properties themselves cannot be tweened and are extremely confusing when on a timeline with a bunch of other cameras. Animating a rig and having all the cameras be cuts is much more straightforward 
And you can actually preview how the camera will move with the keyframe trail. Cameras are something that need a pretty big overhaul in my opinion, but luckily rigs save us the pain of manually adjusting timing on camera properties. I hope you all like this video. If you have any questions about cameras or how to rig up a camera for a specific scene, go ahead and ask in the comments. But hopefully this video was informative enough for you to be able to make rigs on your own. Once again, I'd like to take this time to thank my patrons, Christian Sanchez, Darius Colasson, Empty Chest, Mythic Marty, Patrick Keller, William Snyder, and Skylar Ruin. Once again, thank you all for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye!